If I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong about this, you worked on the Star Wars prequels as a visual effects person. You did visual effects. Am I, Correct. Am I... I, uh, uh, one, two, and three. Yes, you can see my names in the credits. So this has to be a little weird for you because you're probably the only person who did visual effects back then who is now a voice on a Star Wars anime. Uh, can you sort of talk about this? Yeah, no, it's, it's not really weird. It's just cool. You know, it's like I went to Ireland because I love Star Wars and you know, was secretly hoping I'd get a role in Star Wars. And now it comes full circle, you know, uh, it just took a, like an Emmy and Globe nomination to get there. But uh, I, it was just amazing to be part of this. And ironically, like all the people who were my bosses at ILM were like my colleagues. You know, I was talking to them. It's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're in this. When we saw your name, we were super excited. And like everyone at Lucasfilm was happy. You know, I was happy. It was it was just like a love fest. So it's uh, definitely a dream come true. I, I can't even imagine. Um, how much did they tell you actually about your episode uh, when they offered it to you? And how much were you like, wait, I can be a voice in Star Wars? Just tell me where to sign. The latter. Uh, you, as you know, with Disney, everything is super confidential. So they don't tell you anything. <laughs> but except like, oh, this is part of the Star Wars franchise and we're doing this. It's like, I'm in. That's all. You have me at Star. You have me at Star. That's all you need. So. <laughs> Uh, then how excited were you when you found out um, Jedi, lightsaber, uh, and everything that was going to be happening? It was, you know, like, isn't it always like a kid's dream to want to hold like a lightsaber? And, and for me, you know, I studied kendo because I, I got inspired by all the, you know, you know, the, the, you know, the Jedi fights. And we all, I remember always like after kendo practice, we take those, you know, shinais and practice, pr pretend we were like wielding lightsabers. So to be able to do that now, even though virtually it was like a, it was just totally awesome. How much have you, I don't know if you know anyone at Consumer Products at Disney, but I'm just curious if you've happened to try to send them any emails or letters explaining that how your character should have an action figure and everything else. That, that would be amazing. And Stephen, if you can help uh, begin that movement, I would greatly appreciate it. I will sign it. Right. I, I don't, I only know some of the, the sideshow people, but uh, you know, I think Disney has to do some sort of authorization. Um, you know, there's a little bit more to it. Um, yeah. What um, I am, I, I always like learning about the behind the scenes of the making of anything. What do you think might, what do you think maybe would surprise people to learn about the voice recording process for something like this? This was actually a very interesting process because it was originally dubbed, uh, originally uh, recorded in Japanese and we were doing the English dub. So it was the first time I've ever had to dub, dub a Japanese voice. And the Japanese voice acting is very different from the English voice acting. So it was really, really interesting to be part of that process. So a little bit of a learning process as well. Well, that, that's an, look, I've watched a lot of Japanese anime and it is a completely different, um, I can't obviously understand Japanese, but it's, it's very different, the inflections and where the emotion is placed. Um, at least it, it appears that way to me, uh, being an yeah. ignorant American. Um, uh, I'm just curious if you could sort of talk about, did you try to mimic anything from those voices? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a difference in his cadences, especially if you try to do humor, you know, the timing is very different. And, you know, we're trying to lip sync to the mouth, you know, because they've already, uh, you know, they've already synced it to the Japanese, uh, uh, original Japanese lines. But, but because I understand Japanese fully, I speak it, you know, fully. So I try to mimic that same tone, but it's different because the word choices are different. And where you put the accent on, where you put the emphasis on. So those choices were so, were very, very different. And us as actors, you know, especially mostly being on, on camera a lot, we tend to try to keep things a more, lot more naturalistic and throw things away. So, which is very different from anime voice acting. So it's, it was really interesting to like figure out, you know, and, and talk with, you know, the, the director there to figure out like, okay, this is what we want to do. This is what we want to keep the essence of. You know, and there wasn't much, you know, we can't do really improvise as much on an anime side. So uh, when, you, when, you're, when you're thinking to animation and stuff. So I don't know, it was, it was, really, uh, it was really fascinating. And I, I, now that I know what to expect, I would love to do it again. My last question for you. Uh, I'm kind of excited for a film called Bullet Train. I think it's yeah. directed by a David Leach. I'm David joking. Leach. I, yeah, I, exactly. think, I think there's a Brad Pitt in there somewhere. Yeah, hypothetically, there's some stars. Yeah. You know, um, but uh, so I have to ask you, because um, I believe you're part of it. What the hell is it like being part of a film like that? What can you say about your role? Uh, for, it was an amazing experience. Um, and 
just during COVID times to be able to shoot something of that magnitude and like scale it is it was just a, a godsend it was, it was just so much fun doing it is all i can say and it's uh it's definitely going to be bloody it's david leach so yeah um got it i'll leave i won't press you on this i'll just say i cannot wait to see it uh and i wish you nothing but the best and congrats on being part of star wars thank you thank you i just love being part of star wars i uh, appreciate all the support and definitely reach out to consumer affairs and let them know if you want an ethan bobblehead